Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel. So I'm currently working on my paper pumpkin alternatives for September 2023. <coughs> this is alternative video number 13 part 3. Um, and oh, you guys, I just had a horrible scare. I was sitting here. I was prepping for this part of the video. I needed some more things, make sure I had them, some little leaves. And I thought, oh my gosh, it didn't take, it didn't take, it didn't take. And I can't redo this because I don't have another journal, the one that I was using for part two. And I was so disappointed only to go in and all of a sudden the video is there. I did not know what happened, but I was like, so, so, <laughs> so deflated. So anyways, with that being said, welcome to part three. Um, so let's get started. Now I did do a little bit more prep work for this one. So this is what you could have done with this month's kit. These were three and a half by three and a half cards and these adorable little gift bags on the back, the QR code for other projects, a whole bunch of stuff you got in this kit, and it shows you all of that and the coordinating colors. I'm not gonna go into the stamp set or anything because I wanna get on with this video. And let me show you, part one was this gorgeous little book fold of a card to go in my gift bag. Part two, I just love, love how this came out. It's so beautiful. It really, oh, I wish they still had these gems. I might have paid full price for these, though I'm really, I, I checked that clearance rack, guys. So this was part two, and we're going to put these two up, up, and away. And we're going to do the little notebook that's going to go in the gift bag. Part four will be me doing the gift bag. So what we have to start with, and I had to stop myself in and start writing everything down before I did this. So notepad is a four by six pen plus gear notepad. I got these at the dollar store. I think you got like two or three of these. This is just in a box of my stash back there. So I have that. Then we have four by 11 piece of mossy meadow. Now, you really don't have to score this. I'm going to score it, but I'm going to first fold it and then score it. But Mossy Meadow, I left it blank because we're going to fill that in in a minute. But I can tell you right off that you will want to score it at six and then six and uh, two eighths. So I can write that down right now. So score at six and six and two eighths, but you don't have to score. You can just fold it. So that's my mossy meadow. Then my layers to, co to coordinate with the other projects we did. Cajun craze is three and a half by five and one half. That leaves us crushed curry at three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And very vanilla is three by five. Now I had scrap bits here. Um, my little sprig punch. And when I tell you guys scraps, I do mean scraps. I wanted to show you this. So um, I didn't have a wide enough piece of scrap for the entire sprig punch, which punches out like this. So I stuck one end on one end, one end on the other, and now I have my two bits. So when I mean scraps, I mean I use up those scraps. So we have the layering leaves stamp set that we stamped on very vanilla. And some of these were just barely big enough and I had to use a little handle to get it in the punch. I stamped it in Mossy Meadow. Then I took a blender pen and I scribbled all over it with the blender pen. And then I took my itty bitty backgrounds little speckly stamp and I stamped it in crumb cake and then crush uh, Cajun craze. So there's that. Then I have my, ooh, I have four bits here. So I have those two that are connected that I'll probably separate like I did on part two in these two bits. Um, I already did the gold leafing, I'm trying to get them up, on the Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry bits. 
I have those wonderful little leaves that Miss Beautiful friend of mine, Miss Jackie Baker, Baker, gave these to me. It had to be over six years ago, and I still have a little bag of those. Um, and we are using this from the kit, the sentiment strip. Um, and we're using a piece of ribbon, which is, I did seven and a half inches of ribbon. And I think we can get started. Now, this one is, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. I need to put my notepad somewhere else. Okay. So, in the last video, we did this hexagon. Because we're using the heartfelt hexagons as well. Because it goes with this great new punch. And this is an online exclusive, I believe. And they're using... This is one of the sets they're using for World Card Making Day. Now, if you haven't, stamps that are like this, when you pull them off, they get disfigured. So if you just throw it down on there and then pop it on your block, usually you're going to get it just right. And sometimes I look at this and I look at it crooked, then I'm like, nope, it's fine. So there's that. We're going to use Early Espresso. And... From the kit, we are also using up, this was my um, gift bag. So right now we're going to need to do some cutting. I'm going to need to cut this part off here to access this where I'm going to stamp. This I don't want to use. I think it would go in there. Maybe close. Because this makes a great banner. So, guillotine. Under the desk. So we are going to cut this edge off. Now I need to crease it lightly so it fits on the guillotine nicely and makes the cut I want. All right. Now I am not throwing away these bits because I know I will use them. And I don't want to cut any more than I have to at this time off of this card base. So here's my punch, my stamp in pierce mat so we get a really nice stamping. But because I have not used this particular border of the stamp set, we're going to do this mushy, smushy thing. I don't want to force force it too much. I'm going to do that a couple of times. And then we're ready. So now this paper does have a pattern to it, but I want to make sure it's going horizontally this way and not the other direction when I stamp this. And I am going to get as close to the edge as I can right there and still feel like I'm getting, oh, really, really nice. And we're still going to use this for our sentiment and we are going to use wonder if we could do thank you in here I just haven't yeah we're going to do thank you because I haven't used that one we're going to use yet for this kit so I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to do thank you beautiful 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 and we can put the early espresso away we're gonna go ahead and punch our hexagon punch now which is so cool it's like the handmade tags punch that has borders i love that about this i love that they're doing more punches i just love the punches so all of those are going to get set aside and yes i'm bringing back in our weathered background stamp. I showed you several background stamps that I pulled out of retirement for this kit. So we are going to be using our very vanilla and we want it long ways this way up and down because I want the pattern going horizontally. So I only need to really ink up this much of my pad. I would not do the rub-a-dub-dub -dub with the new pads or foam. This is the old cloth pad. I'm going to rub it off. And 
then I'm going to lay this back down and go over it. And we're going to stamp the same pattern that we did on the last two projects. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So we're going to get back our stamp in Pierce mat, our crumb cake. So let's find our hexagon, which is going to give us our placement. It's going to be in the center. So I want it right there, but I want it stamped off. And I want it right there, so I'm going to move that and place it down. Oh, yes, and we're going to do it one more time for the other side. That is not a good inking, guys. Not, not, not. So let's try it right here. Ink off. So my hexagon is there. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to add a little there and a little over here. Make sure I ink it off. It's going to come in just a little bit. I need a nice spot to ink off at. And do a little bit there. So that's all she wrote with that. And that image here from the paper pumpkin kit. So move that aside. We have this. Now we can do our notepad. We're going to put all of those together in a minute. Now, when I said that you can do this without, I'm looking for my eighth of an inch score tape. You can. It'll look neater if you score it, but let's find the edge of this if I can. I am going to start by adding my score tape right there in the center. Oops, maybe. I'm going to go over it. Use a bone folder, your nails, whatever you feel you can get a good rub down on it. Take a bone folder, go over it. Now, I will tell you with this, this much here, you do not want to put score tape on that. If you do, you will not, it will be, you would have to score it here for it to fold back. I'm not bothering with that never really did anyway so I'm gonna lay this on top like so hold it together hopefully you could use a clip and that would probably help okay it's holding it together for me now all you have to do is bend and it's gonna and I need a little extra for the extra bend here bend over and bend over. It's going to give you a rough estimate. Scoring would probably be easier. But you don't have to. If you don't feel like it, you can go along the edge like so. Or if you can score it. it. It's not, you can see, it's not as pretty when you score it, but it will fit. And we're going to just go with it. So... Let's take this off. But then again, this is on the inside. You're not going to see that anyways. So we want to make the longer piece of this will be the front. Once again, I'm going to fold it over. And I am going to go over it like so now that it has its adhesive. it over on the back side. I'm going to add tear tape to the back side, but not yet. All right. 
yes, you're going to have a little space here. We can fix that if you want to. You could also stamp something, but what do I have? Let's see what I have. That's not what I was looking for, a piece of like, that's, I was looking for a scrap piece of crushed curry to go back in there. But let's get this glued down now. We already have it glued down here. I want my quarter of an inch score tape now. Now I'm going to put a piece right across the back end here. And then I'm going to put a piece on the bottom here. If it'll tear for me. Sometimes tear tape does not tear right. And I'm going to go diagonally. There. Oh no. It is so cold out here, it's not going to stick right. We will make it stick. I'm going to add a little glue to help it seal up in there. So before I go take any of my tear tape away. Because it is cold, guys. I need to bring my heater out. All right, so now hopefully, well, we're gonna have to give it a second. This is really making a mess. It's not making me happy. But we will get it to look gorgeous. It's just gonna need a little setup time to hold still. All right. So really that doesn't look bad. You could put, oh, we could do, let's do it. Let's make it look like we meant to leave that there. We're going to stamp with love and gratitude on the back. Ha ha ha. Because we did thank you. We're going to put with love and gratitude right on the back like so. So you will think that it was meant to do that for us to have our stamp on there. Yes, now we're, now we're cooking. Okay, so we need to do, get these all glued together, move the tear tape out of our area. And let me gather all the goodie bits all the wonderful things that I prepped for this. Put it over there. All of these bits. I have some more coming over here. My gold bits. The thank you. And our ribbon. So we're going to layer all of these up in the right order, hopefully. So crushed curry to Cajun craze and then very vanilla to crushed curry and then we're going to add a piece of ribbon I was wondering if I should pop this up on dimensionals but we're not stick with my original design and I do have it in my head, guys. I really did think this out. So there's our layers. Now this time, our ribbon is going to go in the center. So I'm going to add a piece of tear tape here. Oh, I was like, why are those pieces of tear tape there? They're there for a reason. Yes, I would like a bit of this one. So that looks good. We're adding this so it holds this down in place. So when we turn it over, it's not going to move. It's a really wide piece of ribbon. So 
so that looks let's see if we that actually looks really good so there's that and no mr frog is not going to help today he's really sad i know you're really sad mr frog but i really need this to stay down and i don't want this is really thick ribbon it was beautiful oh beautiful on christmas packages and i had so much left over from me buying so much oh my gosh my children were in high school and they're in their 30s when this stuff came out so that is beautiful now we're going to put this up on dimensionals which i need to open they did give us dimensionals, I think, with this or something. Let's see. Dimensionals, dimensionals. We could do strips. Those are minis or open a new package. Open a new package works for me. Now, I save all these and I use them. Reuse them, I should say. Let's keep that out. I do not know why it doesn't bother me where I pull my dimensionals from. Some people, they like to start at the edge. It doesn't bother me where they come from as long as they come off this thing. And I, I have OCD tendencies, I call them, where, you know, things drive me crazy when I can't find them or they're not in the right spot. But dimensionals... For some reason, that does not bother me, everybody. It's kind of crazy. Um, my kitchen, now that we remodeled it, I haven't found a spot that I like for everything. So it's that's a bit ticking in my head. But my husband's going to tear, even if I did it, he's going to tear it apart to put new countertops in next payday. So this is going to go right in the center. Yes. So we have two of the hexagons, heartfelt hexagons. We're going to glue these two together because this is so thin and this is thin, but it's going to, they're going to help each other bond to make a stronger hexagon. Give it a minute and it's not as flimsy and it even sounds better. So this now is going to go right here yes so let's get all of our goodies and i know from the past projects that my gold is going to lay here and this is really thin as far as narrow i should say so and this one's going to go here i'm not sure if i'm going to need any i really like that placement i love that placement so this is going to same way we did the others so a little bit of glue, it's so cold. And this one. I see people on YouTube, other demonstrators, and they make the most beautiful arrangements on the cards. And I feel I really, really struggle doing it. I mean, oh, sometimes it just, my placement isn't always where I would want it to be. There's always room for improvement. And I know I need to, I like watching videos where they use um, bits and pieces like this, as I call them, and make these gorgeous um, arrangements. I enjoy those videos a whole, whole lot. I'm going to put this one off to the side a little, I think. Now these ones, this one is going to go on the side. It's going to go there. This one on the other side. And I think I'll probably split the other one in half too. If I can get a hold of this here. Just 
just tear it. I'm not sure if that was in here, but I'm trying. So there's that one. And this piece. So now I have those crushed curry bits from the bow punch and the Cajun craze, one for each. One. So there's crushed curry on that side. So I'll put it on the opposite side on the lower one. Just a wee bit of gold to bring in the gold from our sentiment strip and the crushed curry. Oops. It apparently had an idea where it wanted to go all on its own. Might help if it wasn't upside down. So there's those bits. Yes. And our hexagon is going to go. Oh, that is so pretty. And then we're going to use our leaves. So where is the sentiment strip? Anybody seen it? Y'all saw me stamp it. I stamped it. I saw myself stamp it. It's just my luck. Let's lift up the tabletop. Nope. Do I get another one out? You guys saw me stamp it, right? <laughs> Have I totally checked the floor? No. Not on the floor. Okay. I can stamp another one. No problem. We did. Thank you. Yes, I stamp. Oh, there it is. It's under the bone folder. Like... So we need, oh, I really like that. So where's my little gold? We're going to tie this all in. Let's give it a little pull. We could, if we wanted to, instead of doing gold, maybe we'll do a little, do we want to do a little mossy meadow in there? just to have them all just a little different. Nope. Nope. Yes. No. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, we did a little bit like that of mossy metal. Let's see what it would look like. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. But I am going to put the gold behind here this time. That we are going to do. I already thought of that before I started making this video. So I want to take this and stick it in the center. Because I just want it a little variation of what we're doing. And for this one, I'm going to go here, loop it around. It kind of does this its own like figure eight back here. And then I'm going to loop it one more time, a little smaller. And there. I know people call it a bird's nest. I can't seem to do that and put it on there and like the way it looks. I just, mine never come out pretty. And this is the best way I can come up with doing it. So we're going to stick a glue dot there. I mean a dimensional there. To help hold it all in place, we're going to stick one there. One there. And another and I'm going to stick another there just because of the odd placements of how this is all coming out. 
So let's get this on our card. And then we'll get all those wonderful little leaves Miss Jackie gave me that have come into use in this kit. Oh, I do so like it. And I really like it behind there. The thank you is going to go on top. Oh, that's so pretty. And we're not going to put it on dimensionals. We're just going to add a bit of glue here. love it I really do so then I wanted to these are my little leaves Miss Jackie Baker gave me like I said over six years ago so all I did was add some of these really thick they were called like pop-up dots these are not Stampin' Up's brand but they're really thick and sticky and they're great for stuff like this so I'm gonna put one there I want this one kind of like right there. I want a red one, a red-ish one, I should say. I'm going to add it going this way. Did I miss the glue dot thingy? The pop-up thingy, whatever you want to call it. They're really thick. They were, I think, meant for like chipboards and stuff like that, I think is what we use these type of deals on. Ugh. So sticky. So this one is gonna go there. I did a whole bunch because I still have the bag to do. This actually has some. Let's see. What if I pop this one down behind there? Like they're all falling. I want two more right down in here. And it looks like I may need more for the bag. Yeah. Now we're not done. Where's my little genial gems that look so gorgeous on this card? On this whole layout. It's They've just been beautiful. And we don't need the great big ones for this one. The little ones will do the trick. If I can get it on the card, maybe. It, well, I was underneath the plastic there there and one right there okay i'm super stoked guys I'm trying to contain myself but oh yay okay let me show you so far what we have because now it's going to be the bag this is what we just did the little uh, notebook i really need to look for a pen uh a fall pen i'm gonna have to look around for this to go in the gift bag there's the card this was part one part two <coughs> was the little uh journal so so cute i really like this stuff do you see how they're all just a little different oh but they're all adorable 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 love them and now we have a gift bag to make which that'll be tomorrow's as i already have this stuff the majority of it prepped so i got to to come out here and in video but it is freezing cold my toes are starting to curl up they're so cold so i hope that you um have enjoyed this and you'd like what i created if you did would you consider giving me a like share or comment comments are the best guys i i can never get enough of those as far as i enjoy reading your comments and what you have to think and what you say about what i create or suggestions it really does make a difference to me um if if it wasn't for those of you who comment and i know it takes time because i comment on videos too it is time. It takes your time. And that means the world to me. So thank you so very much. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.